Okay, guys, so I had a request in my last video on the comments to show what the finished product looks like. And here it is. This is the chicken taco soup. It is so good. It smells so good. It really smells up the house. Makes your house smell amazing. Uh, this is the... I've already shredded up the chicken, so what I did was I came downstairs and... Uh, used my tongs and took each piece of chicken out and shredded it and then just added it back in and you just kind of mix it all up until it's mixed and you can see there there is a good amount of liquid in here um, it is more like a stew ooh, <laughs> than a soup which my family prefers it's very hearty and it is so yummy and you can add extra spices if you'd like. I know that some people use some people will add two packs packets, excuse me, two packets of the taco seasoning mix. Uh, you can you know you can just really add whatever seasonings that you and your family enjoy. Uh, but this is what it looks like, and all I do from here is ladle it up into a bowl and let people add the toppings that they like. Uh, I like some sour cream on top and some shredded cheddar cheese. Now, I will say that this meal here is is really good to take to someone if you if you know someone who's sick, who's had surgery, uh, uh, and brought a new baby home recently, who might be going through chemotherapy, and they still have a family to feed. This is really a great meal to take to them. You take this and then you take a, a box of Ritz crackers and a container of sour cream, some cheddar cheese, and you just take that over to them. We've done that several times over the years. It's always well received and they can, um, they can always freeze some of it if it's too much if the portion size is too big because it really does make a lot of soup in <laughs> our stew um so yeah that's it that's what it looks like and i will tell you again in this video if you didn't watch my last one that this is two to three boneless skinless chicken breasts put in the bottom of the slow cooker i used three because they were quite they were smaller than normal so I used those and they were frozen so you can use frozen or fresh and I put those in the bottom and then I added uh, a can of black beans a can of pinto beans a can of white kidney beans or the cannelloni beans and a can of light red kidney beans there we go right there now you could add navy beans to it uh, you could add oh, dark red kidney beans if you prefer uh, just swap one of them out whatever kind of beans that you don't like you could swap in a kind that you do like you could double up on the pinto beans if you prefer pinto beans whatever you like oh and then you put you're supposed to put in a can of corn and not drain the corn but I didn't have any canned corn this time, so I did use a bag of frozen corn. And let's see, I drained the the light red kidney beans, and I drained the the black beans. But I did use the liquid from the other beans, the pinto beans and the white kidney beans, and I just dumped them in. Then I added one packet of taco seasoning mix, the mild and one packet of ranch dressing seasoning mix, the powder. And then I just stirred it all up together. And the frozen chicken breasts added a lot of moisture to that as it cooked. Once it was done, I set my slow cooker on um, high for six hours. And when that was done, I took the chicken breasts out, shredded them, threw them back in, and there you have it. So. Like I said, guys, that's it. It makes for a great warm meal for the whole family, and I hope you enjoyed it. Don't forget to like the video, comment, share it out, 
and go watch my previous video that I posted earlier today about the giveaway that I'm doing on Sunday evening. Thanks for watching, guys. See you later. Mwah. Be kind to each other. Too much meanness in this world not to be.